With a mask over his eyes, Alex Sundley is learning to play goal ball, a game created for the blind. It's absolutely pitch dark. It is very hard to see, and I'm already losing balance. Goal ball has been a Paralympic sport since 1976. It is played by blind athletes at a high level. But here in the gym at the University of California, Berkeley, the players are both blind and sighted. Professor Derek Van Rienen. All of a sudden, the tables turn, and people who have always been sighted realize, wow, this is a very different reality. Judith Lung lost her sight soon after she was born, but she has never lost sight of her desire for equality. We can also just be as fit and competitive and have as much fun as everyone else. The rules of goal ball are simple. The lines in the court are marked with tape. The ball has bells in it so players can hear it coming. Spectators have to remain quiet. That includes Van Dyke, Judith's guide dog. Attackers throw the ball hoping to get it past the opposing team. Oh. Defenders try to block the shot with their bodies. When the game is underway, it is hard to tell the blind from the sighted. And that's the point. Alec, an athlete who plays varsity soccer, can be humbled by an opponent who has held a ball but never seen one. It's shown me a whole new perspective and I personally respect a lot of what Judith does. We are all in this together despite of our disabilities and we can all just achieve our dreams and have fun together. And that togetherness... Okay, team on three, one, two, three, team! <laughs> even if they're not always together, doesn't end when the class is over. They're now having lunch together, talking, understanding each other's perspectives in a way that has not happened. I didn't expect that. Putting on a blindfold, it seems, can sometimes be a real eye-opener. John Blackstone, CBS News, Berkeley, California.